They hit him with a spell. You see, look at me. I look like a wizard up here. Look at this. Leviosa. This looks really good, man. Look at this. Loomis. Yeah. Light the way. See them buns. Yeah. Miss Weasley. Miss Weasley got them hips. Yeah, I vouch for you. I, I ain't no snitch, bro. What the f? Ravenclaw till we die in that bit, bro. What the fuck you talking about? Mm hmm. That's your ass, boy. Are all of you ready to play Hogwarts now? So I tried to I tried to get my appearance as much as Harry Pottery as I could. I got my scarf on, represent my Ravenclaw because they blue. You know what I'm saying? And then I got my glasses, which aren't really Harry Potter glasses, but you know what I'm saying? We aren't Harry Potter. You know what I mean? We are Sonny Daniel at Hogwarts Legacy. So hopefully we can uh, make me and it looks right and everything is good. Link your Harry Potter fan club. I don't have that. Skip that. Hogwarts Legacy Hippo Griff Mount. Damn. That's kind of dope starting off. I don't know if we're going to get that when we start off or not, but... That's kind of dope though. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft. As a fifth year student, term began September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and accompany your castle journey. As you may be aware, the declare. Yeah, <laughs> start the game. <laughs> Let's just start the game, bro. L Reader, you know what I'm saying? L Reader in the comments. These pictures look so realistic. This is, I guess, a preset, right? Yeah. Okay, so, damn, this looks super real, yo. Okay, I got to find a preset that look like me. We like 15, I think. That's supposedly like 15 or 16 years old. See, let's get him and then lighten him up a little bit. We got face shape, skin color. Yeah, make him light skin. Glasses, he could wear glasses. Let him let him cook a second. Let him cook. I might do the glasses. I don't know though. Uh we got hair color. Damn the texture on his hair is like crazy real. I don't think I've ever seen hair look that real in a game before. Alright, let's see if they got some braids. I mean this is like 2005 me, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, look you see that in the back? I can't deal with that, yo. Some people, some people rock it like that, bro. I would just wait. You know what I'm saying? I would just wait until my shit was a little longer than that before I braid it, cause that looks crazy. Okay, we could have any kind of hair. Now this will work for me. I ain't gonna lie. I just don't like it up on his head. I wish it was on his forehead, not his actual head, cause it make it look feminine. Now he look like a Native American. Some Bruno Mars shit right here. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. This might, this might be a winner. I ain't gonna lie. See, what's the most like what I have right now is actually this because I got my hair braided and the braids here are like cornrows. I don't know. Depends on how much detail we could do. If we can get earrings and stuff, I'm going with this. But I don't know how detailed this gets. Unfortunately, I don't think you could have facial hair, which is really disappointing. I'm not going to lie. But hopefully in the future... We either have mods or something where you can. Is this all the detail we gonna have though? Cause I ain't really feeling the customization right now. I think them probably the thickest ones. Damn, that's it? Damn, bruh. We ain't really got no customization though. I thought the customization was about to be crazy. You can't make his nose or nothing shape different. So it's just pick a preset and deal with it, basically. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like that. Damn, bruh, I don't like that. Damn, I was really hoping that we would be able to like, get some real customization. Am I missing something? Hell nah. So they ain't got no facial hair, which I kinda had a feeling it didn't, even though that's lame as hell because when I was 15, I definitely had facial hair. I almost had everything except the chin. My shit wasn't on the chin yet, but Timmy here don't look like he would have red hair like this, yo. This look this this looks like a real person right here. And then his nickname will be Red in the Hood. You already know, like, you already know. I mean he alright. 
he all right. How is it that Disney made better customization than The Sims and this game? It's crazy how facial shape really changes the race of a person. Like, he looked like he mixed with Asian here. Looked like he's like three quarters white here. Here he looked more half and half. It's just crazy. <laughs> it's crazy to me they got all these eye colors but don't have hardly no other like stuff to customize. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well. A few cobwebs and some dust. I don't understand. About. I don't understand why they do voice tone one or two. It's either male or female. That's clearly not a tone. That's just gender. That was quite something. Tone would be more pitch. I'm eager to get to Hog. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. All right, that's fine. Or oh, maybe they do that because they try to be inclusive. S O N N Y D A N I E L. I'm kind of salty though. Witch or wizard? What is the difference? How you? What's a witch do? Or wizard? Witch or wizard? You can't have a dude witch, right? Or that's not true because you can have a witch doctor. Or is that always a girl? Wizard? So the wizard is the dude version of a witch? Yeah, that's the first time I've ever heard of that. So, like, when they was killing witches, did they kill wizards? Did they call the men version of a witch a wizard? I guess. I'm thinking. Damn, I was hoping it was like a slider or something. I could do something to his face, y'all. I can't change nothing, bro. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly he I, to a he I. wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated yeah, yeah, slightly I... on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some yeah, I... goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. He kind of remind me of me because he looked like a girl. Wait. Would be good. He kind of looked like a girl. And I, when I was like that age, 15, 14, I used to always get mis, mis, uh, can screw with a female. Like, people would always think I was a girl because I had no facial hair and I had long hair. So, and he kind of looked like a female. So, if we can get facial hair or we can get a mod in the future, he might be straight. I really hope we can though, because right now he's looking looking not good. If you see the police, you better warn him, brother. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, 
who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Hey, I got the juice. That's why. Back of that. Dragon come at us like that. And it hit him with a spell. You see, look at me. I look like a wizard up here. Look at this. Leviosa. You're hurt. In Guardian Leviosa. That's, a bit. That's all I know, you. That's levitate, ain't it? It's Wiganweld potion. That stuff will want you in a second. This is straw. <laughs> this is straw, you. Yeah. I look like a wizard, though, you. Yeah. I look like a wizard. Thumbnail right there. Oh shit, I gotta heal up. I'm tripping. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What he... the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir, where are we? There's a setup. I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? The graphics hidden, though. An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Graphics hidden. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I had to get some thumbnails. Uh, yo, these graphics though, they hidden. They definitely hidden. pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Damn. These graphics really are hidden, though. Mind your step. Like, for real. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. 
Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems Yay! to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and oh, is itself a stronghold of, of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Up here, right? Yeah, okay. Sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Yee! Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Yee! Spoke of the <laughs> good it could do. But uh... magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. That's facts. That's big facts, that actually. Ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. All right, tap RT to perform a basic cast. Damn. Excellent. Yo, that's kind of crazy. Use R select active target. Okay. Damn. Damn, I feel like I'm like in the Wild West with like a revolver or something. That's clean. <laughs> Bro, this would be that so was lit. a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one was improving with every car. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah. I love the way they did that, though. It feels like hella real. Damn, that's shoot a bird. Alright, let's go, Professor. You, you got me going. You got me going slow. I'm gonna fight some shit now. Where's some dragons out of something? I want to fight some enemies, yo. What's this, a chest? Is there anything in there? Looks like it said 47 gold, but is that what I already had? We're close now. It's just ahead. The graphics and the playability on this is nice, though. Steady yourself! Very nice. Reparo! Reparo! Damn. Put this whole bridge back together, bro. Almost there! Hey, that line is dope. I like that. Oof, that's clean. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. This gold cup look out of place. Or maybe it don't. What does it say? Mini map shows current objective. Alright. I'm just trying. To, ain't nothing in there, but it's just so fun to do that. Professor. It's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Well, that's not really out of place, though. I don't really 
really see nothing out of place. So my objective is behind this wall. Oh no, I see. I look at the mini map. You gotta go around this joint. Yes, sir. They should have put like gold or something in there where you actually get something from doing that. Cause that's hella fun. It's hella fun to do it. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Damn. Professor Fig. What the hell? That's crazy. Ba, 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 ba. Ba. Ain't doing nothing. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? The reflections what is dope. Room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Damn. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Are we on the other side? Damn, look at these graphics, yo. These graphics is crazy. What's that snoring? I hear something snoring. What is that? You hear that? Oh, that's somebody up here. Hello? He knocked out, yo. It can't be. He looked crazy as hell. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Why they teeth so sharp? Would they be eating raw meat yet? <laughs> Gringotts Wizarding Bank. That's crazy. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. Hey, what y'all think? Y'all think little people came from like this a, a different I species like that? Or you think that's just a defect? Because like Dwarfs is actually a thing in history, right? Is that where little people come from? After you. I mean, they don't look like that, but still. The short genetic. I wonder why that's prevalent keep in your history. your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Yo, my stomach will be in my down. In fact, ass you'll see quite a few on this, on our yeah. way to vault number twelve. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. Damn. The vaults you see now are the newest. Our private entrances to the Yo, that's crazy. They are most the chair like stays the same while the whole body moves. Could have arranged for that's such wild. A Look at that. You want to take a breath? A what? That's crazy. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. Just the We've bank? Quite a distance to go. They are little. Number. Vault 
12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. That's really cool. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Yeah, I like noticed the that. The porky container. No, I'm darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. The he yeah. watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I got a package from Hogwarts. I'm just playing. <laughs> Little bag. My mama gave me that bag. Cause she know I ain't shit. <laughs> she know I ain't shit. All right, let's get back into it. Was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. I ain't gonna lie, my boy ain't looking too bad. He looked like my son or something. Like, he could be my son. Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. He don't necessarily look like me, but he represents me because he's my son. What's this over here? Another treasure chest. Another chessy chest. How should we? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Calm down, son. Calm down. He got his coat on and shit. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Back. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Why did it close the door? Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your Revelio! <laughs> I do this shit. You know, study your wand with L, guide it along the single path. Study your wand with L. Oh shit. What? Okay. That was easy enough. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Hold up, anything else in here? These graphics are really nice though. I am not gonna lie, the shadows and lighting is hitting different. A door. Oh. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. I'm trying to, bro. You talk too damn much. Lumos. Oh, Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean? Oh, Loomis must be light up. Do light up the flashlight. Sort of test? I do. I do that. Revelio. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I want to get to fighting this shit. I want to do some fighting, man. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. It's on the floor. 
Reveal us! I didn't do nothing. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You know, to be you a professor, you don't know a lot. To change <laughs> that statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Reveliosis. Revelio. I presume yeah. this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. How? Perfect. Tap whole RT and tap X. I mean why? Why the fuck did I say X? <laughs> Lumos. Well Lumos. Done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, that's crazy. This thing is coming to life, bruh. I can fight. I can't wait to fight. Damn, protect though. Damn. I'm gonna go to work, yo. Let me go to work. Damn. Yeah, I protected myself on that. Shit. Oh. I get, he get yellow before he get ready to get hit. Hit me, bro. Hit me. Ooh, I took him out too. Damn. Bro, let him hit me, let him hit me, let him hit me. Ooh, look at that. The fighting in here is nice. The wizard's strong as shit, though. This dude? Professor? Professor going to work. Yeah, I will. Shit. You got the juice, bro. You don't know a lot, but you're strong. Let me hit that luminoso. Professor, Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? Hey, make sure this you subscribe and ring that bell. I do that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Where am I supposed to go? Revelio, what's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I don't know what's happening, but I'm I'm good. I'm doing my thing. RT to Lumos. cast. Yeah, Lumos. I got Lumos up. Also, Reveliosis. Revelio. Oh, you can only do one at one time. All right, let me follow these things because they got me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got another chest, yo. Revelio. Yeah. Lumos. I got it. I feel like I'm running in eternity. Oh, there it That's is. Where they're leading. Glow again. Okay. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Oh, I got it, bro. I got it. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of there. Oh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm 100% cool with that. I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I got it, bro. 
<laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. I know what's up. Hold up. Hold. Why? Darren, protect though to stun enemies with stupefy counterattack. Stun enemies. Okay, so hold it. Hit you with stupefy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, I held that. Yeah, we going to work. Thought you caught me off there. Yes, sir. Ooh, young wizard out here working. Young wizard out here working. Rebellion. Lumos. Hey, this game is dope, bruh. I was hoping it would be. I be getting nervous when they be talking so much. Like, I hate games that talk too much. I like a good story, but the fighting in here is great. Y'all want to rock the hottest merch in the game? Well, go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, man, where you can get all the new merch that I drop. I got hoodies, t-shirts, pillows, phone cases coming, lanyards, all kind of stuff, man. So go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, get the hottest merch, man. I got it on right now because it's just so fly. Also, if you want my Uncensored Sim videos, you want access to all my content before it hits YouTube, and some content that never hits YouTube that's strictly exclusive, you got to go over to the OnlyFans, man. Let's get back into the video. You gotta get better customization for your character though. But if if this on PC, I'm sure the modders will go crazy. I can't wait to play this with some mods. Cause I know they're gonna go crazy. Where's the professor at though? Revelio. Ooh, there's a chest over there. So you need to hit that Revelio regardless. There's another one over here. Yes, sir. Lumos. What's that? Did you? I handled mine, Professor. I handled what mine. What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Why are you pouring it out? Oh, you supposed to. Follow my lead. My dumb ass would have drank it. <laughs> I didn't know you supposed to pour it in the damn water. to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, Damn. if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility 
that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. So I got the juice, basically. Oh, I thought he's about to off himself, yo. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? That's what you're seeing. So he got the, the juice. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. I can see can ancient I magic. See magic. Ancient Traces magic, bro. Of an ancient magic, to be precise. Yeah. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. He's too little to have all that damn armor oh. on. That's crazy. Rock. Seems my <laughs> reputation He's so short. Me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Why the hell would I do that? <laughs> uh, sir... They had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Damn. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Damn. Well, short ass is strong, you. Yeah? Professor. Damn. That'd be oh. so close, yo. Cutting oh. it so close. Oh. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. That's because he got the demon we? in him. Same with that dragon. It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Yeah, I know that, Professor. You're a Come. little late, bruh. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. They set it up so I will find it. Long ancient history of ancient magic, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, look at the train. That's the uh, express, right? Yeah. Yeah. So 
so that was just the intro. That's kind of cool, though. That's kind of cool. I think we're going to have to do our sorting hat soon. I took that long ass quiz though, so I'm pre I'm pretty sure Ravenclaw is gonna be my house. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if they do a sorting one on here. But I don't know nothing about the houses. I wanted to be in Gryffindor because it was a lion, but oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I was cool with the Ravens too because I like Ravens. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Damn, bro, how you gonna just change my now, clothes like that? I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, yeah, this is the sorting ceremony here. Dude just changed my clothes for me, though. Like, <laughs> damn, bro. That's, that's a little weird, ain't it? Since we only 15. What's up with y'all? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Why you say black Prepare like that? <laughs> you said black. Master. Weird, Joe. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. This looks really good, man. Look at this. This looks just like the movie. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Let's see what I get, y'all. I think you could pick your own anyway, which I'll probably pick Raven, but let's see what ah, I get natural. Yes, a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Oh, I didn't even see it was options. I'm just like, why is he looking like that? I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. I definitely want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Uh... Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition? I would say ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. There's only two questions? And you put me in Slytherin? I mean, Slytherin, cool. Technically, my Chinese uh, Zodiac is a snake, but... That wasn't nearly as intensive as the test I took on wizard.com. And I got Ravenclaw, so I'ma go with uh I'ma go with my team, bruh. I'ma go with my team. I'm a Ravenclaw dude, you know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about Ravenclaw, but that's my house. And I like blue. So and Ravens are hella smart, so I like that. Let's go with that. And you've already mind. Quick. I always learn. say 
Wait, it's a Ravenclaw house known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. A Slytherin house known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. I don't really have a hunger for power. I mean, I want, I want some power, but it's not like I'm obsessed with it. Hufflepuff, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Gryffindor, daring, bravery, and chivalry. I just like that lion, but I'm going with Ravenclaw. That's my that's my house. If y'all want to see my stuff, I'll go over it with you real quick. Matter of fact, so this is this was my thing when I did it. Uh, my house was Ravenclaw. My Patronus was a Basset Hound, and my wand was an Elm. And then it say here what it mean. The Elm wand say the unfounded belief that only pure bloods can produce magic from Elm wands was doubtedly started by some Elm wand owner seeking to prove his own blood credentials. For I have known perfect matches, bruh. Reading is not it, Chief. Yeah, that's that's my wand, basically. Y'all can read it if you want. It's just making my eyes hurt. And then my Patrona is a Basset Hound. It say the Patrona's turn. It was countering back Harry uh, Surface, the Water Horse. I don't even know what I'm reading, but yeah. And then Ravenclaw. It say you probably noticed some Ravenclaws more from now. Members Lockhart, Luna. Uh. Oh, I guess that's not saying much. I just screenshotted these. Yeah. So if y'all want to read that, that's it. But that's my setup. Yeah, let's do it. You belong in Ravenclaw. Man, they just like changing my outfit, don't they? Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. They're getting really good at doing facial expressions on these games. Like, it's really starting to look like human expressions. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge. But one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw Common Room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Okay. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. That does make sense, though. Now I'm thinking about it. A ghost would have never been allowed to begin with. (laughs) 
Yeah, we at the Raven House. See, I got all my blue. Where's my scarf? Wait, now Looks I'm like a, everyone's gone. Uh, now I'm official. Let's head to the common room. Wait, now I'm official, bruh. Now I'm official. This music better not be copyrighted either. So we rocking with all the blue. That's actually kind of dope, though. I like that. Like a blue purple vibe. Where are we going upstairs? Oh, they won't let me go this way. Alright. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, so look at the look at the spot, yo. What's up with you, Everett? One moment. Watch this. Uh, Throw a grenade. What is this? I just come on through a dumb box. <laughs> That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What was you looking for? What did you hope would happen? Right. I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Yeah, I'm chilling, bruh. I'm chilling. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Yeah, you kind of weird, Everett. I ain't gonna lie. You throwing stink bombs at the girls. I'm trying to talk to the girls. You throwing stink bombs at them. We we can't be cool. So these are my classmates. All right, I'm trying to kick it over there with them. What's up with y'all? Where we going? We gotta go this way. This is a pretty dope logo. I ain't gonna lie. Besides the lion, the raven is definitely the next the next one. The right spot. Cause that's clean. That's very clean. Oh damn! I just took an apple and ate it. That's crazy. What this, Samantha? What's up, Samantha? I want him to be in the perfect place, the place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great. Golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Yeah, he's quite knowledgeable. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of spaced out. I wouldn't, uh, yeah. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Nice talking to you. Wait. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. Is it common oh, for shit. students I asked the to same. grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herb... Yeah, that's the same question twice. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. All right. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. 
Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Appreciate it, Sam. Appreciate it. Who else want to kick it? All right. What you looking at, cuz? Deep breath. <laughs> yeah, we cuz for real. We be on the blue side, yeah. What's cracking, cuz? <laughs> hey, uh, uh. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? What you looking at? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, Me too, honestly. There's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. So are all of these the same? Cause like this, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, you, y'all know I like astronomy. That's the stars, space, all that type of stuff, science. Or is that just because I'm in Ravenclaw? Cause like if that's the case, that thing probably did match me in the right house. Cause I would be totally into that for real, for real. So that's kind of cool if this is all different dialogue depending on what house you're in. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. See, I rock with Amit. Or uh, Amit. Amit. Amit was cool. I don't like that first dude throwing the stink bombs. Get on my damn nerves. Amit cool and Sam was cool. Hey, what is these other rings around the globe? Does that represent something? I just thought of that. Like, does that represent the magnetic field or something? Or is it just for design? Oh, those dots are representing where I gotta walk. Okay, I see. I see, I see. Who is this? Oh, I gotta go up the steps or down the steps. This is dope, man. It's like Grand Theft. Good morning. For I trust you're Hogwarts. ready for your first day at Hogwarts. Or I've Fallout. Been dreaming of this day for a long time. It's kind of like Fallout. I believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Damn. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Alright. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Let's go then. Let's way. do it. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Hey y'all, if I haven't put the Hitman video out yet, I got a couple Hitman videos. That shit was mad fun yesterday. 
Y'all gotta go check them out if you haven't. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Also, Dead Space. Y'all sleeping on Dead Space? Go check Dead Space out, man. It's, it's like a horror game. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust? Revelio! Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Uh, this is your wizarding level XP. Earn from challenges, increasing your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge process progress. All right, this is the type of stuff that off camera I'm going to have to get used to because this is a lot. Collecting your first guide. Yeah, this is the type of stuff. It's like some Final Fantasy type stuff. That's cool, though. I like that. I just got to get used to it. Loomis. Loomis. Yeah. Clever. Like the way. See Keep them buns. Yeah. Miss Weasley. And outside of the castle. Miss Weasley got them hips. <laughs> it's them outfits. Yeah, they be all cinched in and the waist be making no them look like they waste. got. You have classes to attend. They got big asses. This is cool. Lumos. That's really good graphics too. The way it like lights her up like perfectly. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity Damn, to pictures? show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, open the map. And Hogwarts divided into two main areas. Left side of the map is where the students and professors live, including a house. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in the region. Green flu flames represent you have discovered, including your own common room. Gray undiscovered. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. So these like quick travel things. Rotate the map and fast travel with X. All right, that's cool. Get around the building without having to do all that walking. That's dope. Yeah, it looks like it looked like I really got on a Ravenclaw outfit, don't it? And here we are. <laughs> it's lit. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Damn! Look at this. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. This is dope. Even the dragon got smoke coming out of it. Oh, he moving. Damn. Hey, y'all think magic is real somewhere in the universe? Like somewhere is like this in the u I think it is. I actually, I would bet on it because there's a universe that is, um, not universe, galaxy. There's a galaxy that's like the original galaxy that came out the Big Bang first. And it's the oldest galaxy in the universe. And it's like so, 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 so much older than ours. Like ours is relatively new to Milky Way and shit. But this one is, I think, I forgot the name of it. If they call it the Grandfather Galaxy, I don't know. But it's really, really old. It was one of the original places that existed. So like if humans existed there and we evolved or anything like us, they would have probably evolved to have magic and stuff like that by now i imagine it requires such precision and concentration One long move. that should be all for now you'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today and i'd like to be sure you get to hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here hogsmeade what's that you mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. 
Oh, you yeah, yeah. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Beer? You gonna let me drink beer but won't give me a beard? What the hell's up? What's up with that, man? What's up with that? Can you tell me more about charms? Matter of fact, thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. Good. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Nah, there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. I know, Snitch Bit. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. I know, Snitch Bit. the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I've just got you call me a day in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I ain't gonna lie. If somebody called me a they, I feel like they called you a it, and that's mad disrespectful. <laughs> if a bit called me a they, I'm gonna beat your ass. That's straight up, yo. I'm gonna beat your ass you called me a they, yo. Like, what the f do you think I am, yo? What, you, what, 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 what kind of game we playing here? You know, the other day I was on this TikTok live and this chick was on the live and she was talking to me and she was like, oh, I would like for him to join us in the next one or something. And then she was like, oh, but I don't want to assume his pronoun or I don't want to assume their pronouns. I was like, bitch, I'm out of here. I left the damn live. I'm like, bitch, do I look like anything but a damn man to you? Fuck out my face with that stupid shit. I mean, you could do it, but don't, don't, don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. What's up, Professor Fig? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yeah, I vouch for you. I, I ain't no snitch, bro. What the fuck? What Ravenclaw till we die in it, bit, bruh? Fuck you talking about? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. I ain't gonna lie, y'all talk a lot. 
this this beginning of this game actually reminds me a lot of Pokemon uh what was it Scarlet and Violet yeah Pokemon Scarlet and Violet like the beginning of that game was so fucking drawn out at least they talk in here in Pokemon you had to read and it was like I was just skipping the whole thing but it's it's cool though it's gonna open up trust I believe it's gonna open up and it's gonna be dope but just right now it's like that tutorial talking stage and they just be talking too damn much from my from my preference but at least they talking and <laughs> we ain't got to read the map is enchanted to help you find your way this will be incredibly helpful thank you now sounds like you've quite a day ahead what with classes and a trip to hogsmeade for supplies including your own wand you'll enjoy mr ollivander he's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend i shall reach out when i have more information about our mysterious locket for now Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Alright. Offend def attend defense against the dark arts class. Damn, look at this. It's raining out here. Hey, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. Yeah, that looks good, man. Look at that. <laughs> It really look like it's raining and nasty. Is that all you've got? Damn. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. I thought it was Leviosa. Levioso. Levioso. But that would be so dope in real life. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. So Remember, that's B. A surprise. Now, the basic cast. Yeah. Done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. What's Protego? Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Stitch Mm hmm. That's your ass, boy. Levioso first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick. Tearing his ass up. Hell yeah. You see me? I had more for that ass too, yo. <laughs> I was ready. 
Not bad for a beginner. You see my boy? You give as good as you get. <laughs> you ain't hit me with nothing, bruh. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Levioso. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. You got your nice ass work. work, bro. What you got to say? I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, he being cool about it. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know what I'm doing. Or should I say that? I'm gonna say it was. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. What you talking about? Un exclusive, unsanctioned dueling or I kind of, kind of like how that sound. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts. You're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Okay. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested, bro, I beat your ass again and Till another time, time and another time. Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? Ravenclaw in this bit. You feel me? Potato. Huh? Always. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Lumos. What y'all talking about? I can't believe Black is still the headmaster. He obviously hates the job. All right, now we got to go to charms class. That is, this is a lot like how Pokemon Scarlet and Violet started, but like I said, it's cool because whoops, why do I keep hitting Y instead of X? I keep trying to hit X and I hit Y. It's kind of cool how like at the school everybody is is in here, like from each house. Damn. Everything's moving. Did y'all notice that? Look at that. All the art, Leave everything. Let's just keep our heads about this. Oh, look, it's a cat. What's up? Love the felines, man. It'd be dope if you can get your own pet, yo. Get some more cat action. Yeah. I love the animals. Oh. All right, let's see. Let's see. We got to go to charms class. Is that up or down? Looks like up. Wait, what was that? Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. 
I like her so accent. you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Damn. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Who's my partner? Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Wasn't it just After raining? Me? It was just raining, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe it stopped. Who knows? I like my partner's accent, yo. She got that Wakanda, that African accent. That shit is dope. I love that. It's so comforting. That's such a comforting accent. It just is like... You just feel at home when you hear it. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test? Hey, yo, the girl right? next to me, she kind of <laughs> fly too. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest student start us off? Hmm? Eh? 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 Oh hell, how do I do this, yo? Okay, new spell, the summoning shot Acacio pulls a target closer to the caster. Hold RT and press the assign button to cast Acacio and pull a target closer. Re release. RT to seize casting the spell. So this hold it and then let it go. Oh that's like oh that's the point. So that was good. That was really good. Ooh Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Don't fall, bruh. Bro, don't fall off that fucking. Okay. You good. Ooh. Master wizard over here, yo. Who y'all talking to? Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Oh, I thought Miss that was kind of. Would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Psh. Come on up. Did you see that? Ain't no challenge. Let's go, let's go. Is it you or me? You are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Is me or her? Who go first? Here we go. Okay, she going first. Oh, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. I see you. I kill. Yes, sir. Don't roll, bruh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What's up? What's up? <laughs> there we go. Damn. 
Can I knock her ball off? Ooh, you can. Brilliant. Well, not off, but. Okay, okay. That is how it's done. I hear. Yes, sir. Perfect <laughs> score twice, bro. What's up? What's up? Perfect score twice. It's only my first day out here. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Whoa, whoa what you doing, bro? Oh, okay. <laughs> past interesting at this point i'll say i can handle it i love her accent bro i'm telling you this round settles it all here we go my boy pacing my boy pacing he ready yo all right Let him cook, let him cook. Ah, yes, sir. Give me that, give me that blue, give me that blue. Damn, she good though. Cause she getting perfect like nonstop. Okay. You see me? Quite impressive. Let him cook, let him cook. <laughs> not quite, not quite. There we go. Ooh, that might have been too much. Damn. Yeah. Alright, that's fair. Damn. I would have had that too. I just was expecting it to hit that ball. Very harder. good, both of you. Well done. I don't know how they expect this game to ever play on the Switch. I'm just saying, side note. I know it's supposed to be on the Switch in like summertime. I don't Passes see how. Dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I was thinking about getting my DNA thing because I don't know nothing about the black side of my family at all. Like where where we actually came from. But I just, I don't, I don't want to get nobody my DNA, bro. Like I don't trust it. But it would be cool to know like what part of Africa like my pops was from and like kind of be able to get the food and embrace some of the stuff but like i'm not sending my dna in so i don't care that much i guess is magic the same at uh what she say wagadu this may seem an odd question but is magic the same there as it is here mm, mostly yes but i did have to learn how to use a wand when i arrived here hardly anyone at wagadu uses one Damn, y'all don't use wands? You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> it is hella dramatic, I ain't gonna lie. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. 
It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. A word, if you would. A Wakanda forever. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right, big bet. Lumos. Can I just do stuff like without actually having to do it? Let me so. Hell nah. That would be cool if you could, though. Damn. All right, let's see. Uh. That's say down, don't it? Hello. What's up, Samantha? How was your first day? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Now yeah, did I? <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Okay. Oh, let me open up my map. They need to make the map a little bit more high definition, though. This looks hella pixelated. Just being nitpicky, but you know, they gotta know what's going on. Got to critique the game a little bit. So far, though, I ain't really got no critique except the fact that I wish you can customize your character better and have facial hair. And also, even if it's not heavy, just a little bit. And also, um, the map being pixelated. But that's like nothing. Oh, damn, it's another cat. Yeah. Get some feline action. All right, now where is that? That's in here. Right here. Damn, look at the plants. Did you see that? It just changed shape. Look at that. That's crazy. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Damn. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Damn, stop prying, lady. Isn't there? No, I told you, like, damn. Nothing more, Professor. 
I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. All right, I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this school stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Definitely not Sebastian. I don't remember even remember who that oh that's the dude in the green. Hell nah. Gimme give gimme give Natty, yo. Gimme Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I just want to get out in the world and do something. Honestly. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. I'd be glad if they let us That's a mo cat action instead. There's only that's one the same one from before, ain't it? Wishes they could get in, and that's Hufflepuff. Gotta get some cat action, man. So garlic says. Oh. I'd imagine the Hufflepuff probably. All right, so where is he? He's right here. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Y'all do a lot of talking, man. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Y'all do a lot of talking. I really wanted to see what was up with the wand, though, before I pause this episode. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Gotta do Revelis. Yeah. Oh, what's this? What can I do with this, though? Levioso. Oh, damn. I knew what I was doing, huh? <laughs> that was hella random. I did not know what I was doing. Yeah. You've collected... Oh, no, there's the piece of paper right there. Well, how do I get that? I don't need to levitate it. Wait, that's what I need. There we go. I forgot what that spell did. A 
A flying page must be around here somewhere. I'm I'm ninety percent sure that this is gonna open up, but like right now I'm, I'm getting a little tired of the running around the school stuff. I'm not gonna lie. All right, now I'm looking for the page. Okay, so there's two out of eight of them flying around. I trust the. Pr I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. You want to see what? Vigor? Okay, that was pretty easy. Hey, we got some more cat action. That's it. Very good. They keep if you would like to cat this mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbol. It's so amazing to me. Thought it too like and lashed out. dealing with cats because they're so cool. Like. I've always had a connection with cats, so I, I've been rocking with cats a minute. But, like, it's like they know you're intelligent. It's just always been amazing to know, like, what other animals think of us. And I feel like cats look at us like equals. And that's just interesting to me. Like, to imagine what a cat perceives a human as. All right, this is locked. Where am I going? Damn. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, what am I missing? What's up, Lenara? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. If I know... I ain't gonna lie. I don't care about your drama. If I have the time. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have time for the drama. Brandy thinks I'm potty, and the mind, the mind, what color is your Bugatti? Now, the one statue you would think would move isn't moving. That's kind of crazy. My mother was shocked. Yay! Let's get out of here, man. Looking for me? Yeah, I'm looking for you. Let's go. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. Hell yeah. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. Is this Hogsmeat? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbeer in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. She better stop playing me before she fuck around and be my girlfriend. I ain't even gonna play. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. Look at the scenery, man. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. This scenery oh, is beautiful. Wait, over here. Like literally. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at.
Like, if you just walk, I mean, it'd take for you forever, but like, the vibes, though. Look, from a forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I Where? wonder if something startled them. Oh, damn. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Hippogriffs. Have already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. That was dope. Whoops. How the hell did he jump off the bridge like that? Bruh. <laughs> I was looking over there to the Why left and completely limits? fell off. The climbing is nice, though. Calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. I'm taking all of this. I don't know what this is. Hey, look at that. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. This game is so dope, man. And I don't even know a lot about any of this, but it's just really good. Settling in, I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. What's this? And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hope See, this is going to something of a home. This is going to open up, and you're going to be able to get all this type too. of stuff. That's gonna be dope. I wonder, can you run with a squad? Like, can she be part of my squad? Or you run solo? I wonder how that works. This is like a legitimate long ass run though. I need a car, Looks man, a bike or something. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys. Now, this fool drunk. He ain't talking mm, about that. Come on, Nazi. Protego. Akio. Bring your ass here, yo. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls. Look at this. Historic hogs me. Whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Oh, she just said it'd be cool to have. Oh, look at this. It's like a little village, man. Hogs me. Damn. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. Damn. The three broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. What's up with that lady? She drunk or something? Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and a wand. wand. Yeah. Of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. I want to enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I want to get a new wand for show, and then I want to pause this episode. But I definitely want to get a new wand before I pause it, though. Okay, they got a hair. Is that a hair spot? Yeah, hairdressing. I wonder if you can get beards there. Here's the wand spot. 
Alright, I'm right next to the one spot. That's here, right? Wait, I'm, I just want to see what you could do with that hair. It'd be really lit if you can get a beard, but I doubt it. But I gotta see. I really doubt it, though. All right, let's see what she got up her sleeve at the at the hairdresser. No loading screen, though. That's impressive. What's up, Canopy? Be Canopy. Oh, come in, come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at looking for a change. I'll I am looking for a change. Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with... But you won't find poisons here. Why don't you spend a moment? May I see your services? What services do you offer? Facial hair growth? Is what that is, is that possibly one? In? I'm just curious, is there any other hairstyles that are new because we're here? Or it's just a reset? It basically just is a reset. Yeah, never mind. I had a feeling it was going to be the same thing. I was hoping it would be some more here, but it's not. I mean, it's cool that you can change your hair, though. If you need to. But I think the dreads is lit. They actually are some of the best looking dreads I've ever seen in a video game. And that's straight up. This little town is amazing. Like, I want to go to a town like this during the holidays. That would be so lit, man. Like, you imagine the vibe in a little town like this for the holidays? Just forget that you even in the uh, current time period. All right, now let's see what's up with these wands. Now, I have seen Harry Potter a couple times. I feel like I've seen this place. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um... Just a moment, please. Ah, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Does this yes. matter? Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. I thought it was like a special thing, though. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Damn. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. That was kind of dope. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Man. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um... I thought they took a you? test. Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. <laughs> Everyone is in a green box. Why don't you try a different color, bro? Huh? Yes, I think you might be the one. 
Here. Take it. What it look like? What it look like? Oh, do you get to customize it? Ooh, you do get to customize it. That's dope. Find a wand. Ring dark brown. So you get to pick what you want it to look like. I mean, if I'm going off my own personal preference. How intriguing. Hmm. I don't know. They all kind of cool. Okay, let's let's actually use the one thing indeed. that I had. What was that again? Let's see. It was an elm wood with a dragon core. Elm wood with a dragon core. Let me take a picture so I can remember what I'm looking at. How intriguing. So far as the look of it, though, I mean, it just looked like wood. But it was a elm wood with... How long? 11 and 3 quarters? 11 and 3 quarters. Solid flexibility. How intriguing. Uh, is this the core? I'm not sure. This is just the style of it. I mean, it just looked like a wood wand, to be honest. Curious indeed. Eh. That's too light. Not, it wasn't that light. This is kind of cool, but... Honestly... How intriguing. Well, I mean, this one kind of does look like it. This one and this one. So I guess it's just my preference. Oh, I didn't see they got variations up there. How intriguing. Oh, I didn't see that variations tab. Oh, that black is kind of fresh. Curious indeed. Light brown. This is kind of nice. Spiral warm brown. I kind of like that. How intriguing. Mm, I really like that one. I kind of like that spiral in dark brown. Curious indeed. Crooked spiral. How intriguing. And natural gray. Natural warm brown. I think I like this one in this dark brown. Yeah, that's that's pretty clean. That looked like a that looked like a Mercedes or something I had at. I like that. I like that. So we got that's the look of it. We put all our specifications in here. And then it had a dragon core. Yeah, it serves as the core of a wand. And then these are the ones. So I had a dragon core, so I gotta go with this one. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. So really they kinda team up with the with the with the little app online because you wouldn't know none of this unless you did that quiz. And it's kind of pointless. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it isn't. But this section, I would feel like, would be pointless, right? All right. That's my wine, y'all. What y'all think about it? What y'all think about my wine? What do you think? I think it's pretty dope. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> yeah. Now, how did that feel? Good. 
different. <laughs> Great! A sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Alright, that was dope. I like that. Let's pull it out. Lumos. Yeah. It's pretty official. I mean, I wish they had more exotic looking wands, but I'm not mad at it, though. I ain't mad at it. It's kind of exotic looking. It looks like a luxury car would. Yeah, I like that. But I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode here. So let me know in the comments if you want more of Hogwarts Legacy, man. I'm going to be playing this a little bit off camera because I got to get used to all the like menus and upgrades and stuff. But I'm going to keep playing it on YouTube, too. So let me know if y'all want to see it by liking and commenting on the video, man. Keep me motivated. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Peace. That was amazing. Hey, go okay. check out Sunny D. It's like a drink. Sunny D. Hey. All of those long, hard hours of work definitely pay off. Well. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.